Hello, America. So for the longest time, I have always wanted a bulldozer. But bulldozers is expensive. So, me and Bobby have come up with the ingenious plan to turn my old zero turn lawnmower into a bulldozer. And it is gonna be the coolest bulldozer you have ever seen. So we had to modify the control arms for the zero turn. Uh, we took these off because they was going out way too wide. Uh, you see, we're gonna build us a canopy. Uh, just like a real dozer, you know what I'm saying? We'll have a canopy. And these right here were sticking out too far, uh, and it was going to uh, hinder our canopy. Uh, so we took these off, and we uh, we made us some shorter ones. Uh, yeah, they ain't exactly even. Uh, that's my sawing skills, but uh, still serves its purpose. All right, so one thing we got to do is uh, move the gas tank and the ignition system to behind the seat. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my Milwaukee uh, sawzall to do some modifications. Look at Bobby, welding with extreme precision. All right, so as y'all can see here, we have our snow plow blade. Uh, Bobby put it all together and he just cut it uh, with the saw. Uh, so that way it'll fit right here on the old mower. Uh, it was way too long, so he had to modify it. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna attach this bad boy. And we're gonna see what it looks like. I mean, we ain't got no front tires yet, uh, but it'll look cool with a blade on it at least. All right, so we had to take the gas tank off of the side of the mower because it was getting in the way of uh, us framing the dozer in. So I, being the genius I am, was like, where can I put the gas tank? Bam, right there. So while Bobby is at the front, of the dozer, welding the blade. I'm back here working on the exhaust. Now we're gonna make ourselves a smokestack cause every dozer has a smokestack. So I already got this welded here. You see, that's where the original exhaust comes out there. So we made it some duels come out right here to a bigger pipe. Then I'm gonna weld her right there, like that. And we're gonna have us a smokestack coming out the back. Okay, so as y'all can see, we've got the exhaust here. We got her tacked. All right, now I'm gonna weld her up. She's gonna be ready to go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, as y'all can see, we've got the frame of the dozer done. We got the blade on the dozer. And if you're wondering why uh, we put big tires on the front, uh, that is for the tracks, okay? We got our own uh, track system that we're gonna try to install. And uh, we just figured the bigger tires on the front would make it easy. But it is a zero turn. We just took the front tires off, the small ones, and, and put the big ones on there. Now, speaking of tracks, uh, Bobby is over here making our tracks. Now, what we decided to do, we was going to try to use uh, all-terrain tires, like truck tires, okay? And we realized real quick that them ain't too bendy or flexible, whatever you want to call it, uh, moldable, I don't know, uh, whatever the scientific term for it is. Uh, so, Bobby came up with the ingenious idea uh, to use an inner tube from a skitter. It's flexible, it's tough, and there it is, right there. And he's going to cut it uh, into the precise uh, size that we need for the track. Okay, so now we're going to slip the track on our two tires to make sure that we have the proper measurements. you got to make sure it's real tight, so that way it won't just come falling off as I'm bulldozing. All right, so we're going to take and put it back here on the back side. And I'm going to roll her around like it, and Bobby's going to stretch her out and pop her on. Use them tiny muscles, Bobby. It's like trying to put yoga bridges on a thick chick. You know how to jump up and like pull them up over them thighs? Dog agrees. Come on. And there she is, ladies and gentlemen. Now we just got to put the tread on there. We're going to put our treads on and... She's on there tight. All right, so as y'all can see, we have installed the cleats on our rubber track. Now, we used wood because it's lightweight and it's durable. And as you can see, uh, being the geniuses that me and Bobby are, we screwed the screws through like that right there. So that gives us extra grip. So you won't see no Komatsu with anything like that. No Caterpillar, no John Deere. No, they ain't got cleats like that right there. Now, as you can see, we have named this bulldozer the Shatterpillar Micro P3 N1S, or Shat for short. Now, we call it the Micro P3 N1S because it's small, but it rises to the occasion and gets the job done. <laughs> like something else I know. 
All right, this is test number one with the Shadowpillar Micro P3N1S. noticed by that first test run uh my shadow pillar has a very smooth ride unlike them other big clunky bulldozers shoot this thing right here it's like riding in a cadillac now y'all probably are wondering how i get in and out of this bad mamma jamma well let me show you all i gotta do pull my hood up like that right there and then i got me a door right here with a latch look at that And voila, nice and simple, yet effective. Now that blade right there is a six point blade. And look here, I can elevate it, drop it to whatever latitude or longitude I want it at. Now I think that's enough talking. It's time to go push some dirt. I'm still on. I was scared. Okay. Oh, that horsepower! Y'all heard that pop as I was pushing all this dirt, but uh, that was the axle breaking. Yeah, that's right, ladies and gentlemen. The shadow pillar has so much power that it broke the axle. You won't see none of them regular old dozers breaking the axle because they got so much power. Uh-uh. That don't happen because they too weak. But the shadow pillar here, this just proves it was a powerhouse. Now we got to go back to the drawing board. But we'll return. We'll be back with an even better shadow pillar. God bless y'all. I love you.